Hey everyone, this is Jonathan McDonald from the Information Lab. Just making a quick video because um, I've had a few queries and questions over the years about um, how to understand um, user behavior when interacting with a Tableau dashboard published on server or cloud or public. Um, now, that information is not commonly available unless you go hunting in the VizQL server logs. And if you've done some of that work, you'll, um, you might recognize some of these types of values <clears throat> um, listed here, uh, which uh, are events that are recorded in the VizQL server logs. Um, and they relate to uh, users interacting with dashboards. Um, so uh, render tooltip server, the one I've highlighted here, for example, um, that is a log entry that gets recorded when a tooltip gets rendered. Uh, that could be someone hovering a mouse over a value. Uh, in fact, just like we're seeing now when I hover over this, my mouse over this bar chart. Um, so this can be really valuable information. You, you might use it to get a better understanding of how users are interacting with specific dashboards. Um, but you can also, at a kind of aggregated level, get an understanding of what's happening on your server, what's contributing to all of the resource consumption on your Tableau server, um, specifically with respect to things like memory allocation. Here we can see there's a, uh, a type of event called set parameter value, which uh, in aggregate is um, allocating nearly 50 gigabytes of memory um, in aggregate across the uh, on the server across the time period in which we've captured these logs. And I should say this is the art workbook, um, which you get uh, out of LogShark. So if you've heard of LogShark, it's a tool to pass out your Tableau server logs. Um, one of the workbooks that you get back is called the Art Workbook, which analyzes these, specifically these VisQL server logs to understand all of the, um, uh, the individual events uh, and da dashboard load events and so on um, when users are interacting with dashboards on, on a server. Um, so uh, a question that I often get is, you know, what the hell does select region no return server mean? Uh, that's, that's a type of description that uh, doesn't really make any sense. Don't know what that could possibly mean. Ensure layout for sheet. You know, it's grabbing up to five gigs of memory uh, in aggregate when it runs. So um, it must be something that's relatively important. So today I want to show you a little trick to figure out, uh, to help you figure out what each of these mean uh, in relation to the activity on your on your server. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to switch to Chrome and load up a dashboard. Um, in this example, I'll be using um, just a dashboard that I've got published to uh, Tableau Public. Um, because we don't need to go into the logs just yet. Uh, what we can do is um, uh, just use the Chrome developer tools. So if you right click anywhere on the page and choose inspect, um, we're gonna then switch to the network tab of the dev tools. Um, and wanna make sure this is ticked, disable cache. Um, we also want to just clear down everything before we start doing this work. Um, the other thing we wanna highlight is just this fetch slash XHR. Um, so we don't want to set the filter to all Let's filter on fetch XHR only, and that'll just make sure it's, we're capturing just the communication between our browser and the um, uh, and the Tableau Public API, essentially. That's that that, that is helping to render this VisQL. Okay, so um, you can see already as I'm hovering, we're getting some entries, rendering tooltips. Um, so that's a pretty obvious one. Every time I I hover my mouse over a bar and it generates uh, a tooltip, we've got render tooltip server. And if I click into one of these you can see the request URL, um, which contains the session ID. So again, that will really help um, you troubleshoot particular issues in the logs. You can grab the logs and filter to that session ID. Um, similarly, in the payload, um, it is reporting a region in the viz, um, and it, it's giving us specifics about the dashboard name and the specific worksheet. Um, so let's try understand what happens when I select a quick filter, for example. So I'm going to click on this drop down and switch to Tableau Server. Oh, it was already on Tableau Server. Let's switch to Tableau Desktop. And you can see an event here um, related to that was categorical filter by index. So if we pop back to um, our, our log chart workbook, um, here we go. Here's tab.categorical filter. Um, Let's see if we can find categorical filter by index. Maybe we can't, you know, it will depend on each person's server and the way they use it. Um, oh, categorical filter by index, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so that's how you can 
uh, sort of narrow down what all of these little individual events mean. Um, another one that I thought I'd show off in this video is um, clicking on an axis, because it seems that when you click on uh, an, uh, a continuous or a discrete axis or header, um, we get this select region no return server, uh, which as you recall, was something that was consuming quite a lot of uh, memory on our, our example uh, logs. Um, and so that's interesting. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm now minded to think, well, maybe header selection is not the way to go if you want to improve performance. Um, but obviously, that's got huge caveats. <laughs> um, uh, you know, depends on on the particular viz and, and the performance of which. And I'd always recommend doing a performance recording when you can. Uh, but I'll I'll just look into some others. So if I click onto um, a particular bar that generates a filter, I've got just a select. So that's tab doc select, and you can actually see this in the request URL. Um, so that's a post request there. And then if I click, um, what's interesting is if I click in a tooltip, I've got a run action, um, which seems to indicate when I'm using a tooltip uh, to uh, trigger a, a you know a filter action or a, a run action. Um, if I again if I switch to different tabs, you can see. Um, uh, the event related to that is switch seems to switch to ensure layout for sheet. So that seems to be the first thing it does every time you switch between different tabs in your dashboard. Ensure layout for sheet. There it is again. Ensure layout for sheet. There's again. So it doesn't matter if you've cached all three pages. That event is always going to trigger. Anyway, um, I'll leave it there. Have fun um, playing around with your visualizations and seeing what comes up as the you know the the type of um, event. Um, you can then go and uh, grab your Tableau server log files, uh, your VizQL server log files from your Tableau server, and you should be able to trace um, the related values uh, in, in the logs <clears throat> um, with, the same, with the same names. Cool. Hope that was useful. Thanks for listening.